Buda chesa kama wewe Chesa kama wewe Stand by please, roll camera Action! This TV advert for the fourth edition of the Safaricom Chapadimba Football Tournament was developed using actual footage and artificial intelligence. The advert was shot at the Mpesa Foundation Academy by Polycat, a South African animation and visual effects studio in collaboration with Kenyan creatives. The visual approach is a mix of live action and animation. Your animation gives us the room to really create a bit of fantasy and a bit of magic so that for that moment, for the 45 seconds that they're interacting with the film, they feel like they've been in that Chapandimba world. So that was the goal. Fundamentally, we were shooting this all as live action in front of giant blue screens on all sorts of different pitches and then turning those blue screens into uh, AI animated, artistically inspired worlds. You know, there's all this conversation about AI, how it's going to take people's jobs and especially in the creative community, people are a bit iffy. And I remember thinking that that's exactly why we need to do it this way, right? Because um, we need to show that AI can actually be a tool um, for creative excellence, for marketing effectiveness. So it's been so cool to see the same naysayers are all, you know, flip and say, this was incredible, it's allowed us to do so much. Um, and so I'm just really excited about that transformation and it hopefully changes the conversation when it comes to AI for good. With AI slowly making its foray into the African creative space, the makers of the advert had to deal with challenges of AI struggling to find African faces and African landscapes. Getting control over the AI and making it cohesive throughout was very, very tricky. But in the end, after many, many hours, we managed to pull off a result that we all love and uh, I think it's made the ad look really great. Safaricom, which aims to be a purpose-led technology company by 2025, has for the past five years been integrating both machine learning and artificial intelligence into its operations. We are the largest processors of data, as you can imagine, and the, the responsibility that we have, which, which almost is a calling, is that this data needs to be used ethically and it needs to be used to benefit the customer or the people that we, we serve as Safaricom. On top of it, um, it calls for us to, to protect it. Safaricom uses AI and ML in scaling of its cloud infrastructure, leveraging natural language processes in their chatbots used for customer service, analysis of data across social media for marketing use, automation of coding and testing processes, and the calibrating of sale of bite-sized data bundles. AI is literally, in the simplest of forms, is our ability to make machines a lot more intelligent or think like humans. But it's us making it and therefore there's a massive role that we play as human beings. In the last probably six months, we've seen AI go mainstream. And so it's a larger transformation happening globally of democratization of technology. And these days it's very hard to distinguish between who's really a techie and who is not. I think now we can open it up to more creatives and innovators being able to uh, just push ideas and so it, it can only enhance, improve and expand our ability to transform lives. So uh, we are coming out to be the lion uh, in this conversation uh, for Africa. Safaricom also has big dreams for the future in the area of virtual reality where one can go inside an experience instead of just looking at it on a screen. I was asked a question about the metaverse. I think very much in the works. We don't want to call it meta, it's safariverse. Some of the things we've looked at is, you know, how can people actually do the game drives and the wild beast migration while not in Kenya, but immerse themselves into it. Overall, the ethics around the use of AI are still a matter of debate globally, with opinion divided. Certainly there's the ethical questions um, around it, but even in a lot of these uh, technologies as they came in, those questions were there. So Safaricom, I believe, is, has, has to not just embrace, but take a leadership role, especially in Kenya, in discussing it from a policy perspective, an adoption perspective, but also guiding uh, other industries as they adopt it. And that's where the tech company comes in. AI only makes sense when it's powered by data. Productive 
and efficient AI systems are powered by huge amounts, large amounts of data being processed. The future of AI in Safaricom is exciting. And this future I want to take to every Kenyan. We want every single person in Kenya who interacts with our products and services to experience the beauty that comes with adopting and actually taking part in this AI evolution. AI will also be at work in the later stages of the Safaricom Chapadimba tournament, where footballers will wear vests with devices to collect critical data such as average speed, top speed, distance per minute, accelerations, decelerations, and heat map. This information, a kind of football CV, will be available digitally to Football Kenya Federation as well as international coaches and scouts. And it's a rock! Woo!